Okay, so editor word based suggestions. Controls whether completions should be computed based on words in the document. And this is the only criteria. If you have words in a document, it's going to include in the suggestion list other words that you have written in the document that are similar to the word that you're typing. So let me just show you what this looks like. We have a log, a console log somewhere in the file. So if I write log, it's going to suggest log. Well, it's kind of the same word. Um, so I guess, I, I, yeah, I guess I could show you a better example. So let's go with span. So for example, in this file, I have a bunch of classes, right? Uh, and a bunch of words really. And if I start writing BTN, it's going to give me four word suggestions that include the letters B, T, and N. So I can choose class, I can choose the primary class, which is the one that I got there, and the color. Now, the problem with word suggestions though, even in this context that seems to be useful, is that if you write CLR, because you wanna choose a color, you're gonna get color, notice, notice the, the suggestion box, color, color zero, color one, color two, no color three, no color four, and then color two, alt, color four, alt, no color zero, alt, no color one, alt, no color three, alt. Why is that? Because I haven't yet used them on this HTML file, even though they are classes in the CSS file that this HTML file is linking to. Now, these, the, this is how word suggestions work, but usually what you want is suggestions that are based either on a keyword for the language so in html a keyword would be a tag a tra tags and attributes um <clears throat> in uh or intellisense meaning for example if you're on a javascript file and and i write proc it's going to suggest process video not because process video is a keyword it's not it just intellisenses that I have a function called process video, so it's going to suggest that function here, which makes sense, right? Usually you wanna write code that's related to some other code that you have on your, on your file. Now, word suggestions are kind of too loosely coupled, too trivial um, to be useful. And in this case, for example, it would, it would just be way more useful if we had a way to detect these two CSS files that we're linking uh, to, detect their classes, detect that we're writing inside the class attributes and then suggest classes that actually exist in the file, right? That would be much useful, much more useful than, than word suggestions. So even in HTML, this is not very, um, useful. Now, my suggestion, oh, by the way, a, a small detail, but I think, I think it's relevant. If you write log, it's going to give you the word suggestion first, but usually what you really want, I mean, if you accept the word suggestion, you just have log, which is not useful at all. What you really want is the snippet, right? Because you probably want to write a console log. Now, I'm aware that you can solve this by using this setting here, which is editor snippet suggestions, and then change from inline, which is alphabetized to top. So snippet suggestions will be pushed to the top. So when you write log, you will actually have the snippets above the word suggest the, the, the word based suggestions, which is nice, which solves the problem. But it, you know what all what also solves the problem, and and it, <laughs> this generates another pro a problem, which is snippets are now not alphabetized anymore. Which means that the behavior is not consistent, which means that it's harder for you to code. And because it it it's harder to create muscle memory for, right? So my suggestion is don't use stop here. Keep using inline so that 
even the snippets are alphabetized and disable word suggestions entirely. Whoops. So that when you write log, uh, oh, right, right. So word suggestions are disabled. So if we come to the HTML, just to prove that they are, and we write btn, it's not gonna suggest anything. If we write control space, it's gonna say no suggestions. However, when we write log here, it's, it's still showing this word suggestion. And this is actually related to another setting that we have on JavaScript specifically, and it's this one. It's kind of a weird name because you know you have a setting called word-based suggestions and here is called JavaScript suggest names. Well, I guess at least it has the suggest. But um, this setting enables and disables including unique names from the file in JavaScript suggestions. So this is essentially, essentially word suggestions. So you need to turn this to false as well. And when you do that, now we can come to word suggestions again. Um, when you do that, you solve this log problem. You won't see that those word-based suggestions that aren't really very helpful and you can access snippets or something else you wrote in the code then that's actually a variable or a function or something like that or some kind of keyword so my suggestion is to leave word-based suggestions to false and later on we'll talk about how to solve these kinds of problems uh, how to automatically detect um, classes in that are that this line that this file links to and suggest them when we're actually writing classes um, on the HTML file. Anyway, uh, this is was kind of a long discussion, but I hope it was um, useful to you and um, good coding. <laughs>